Hello, and welcome to a Sun Top Unboxing. One that I've been looking forward to very greatly. Very much so. This, my friends, is Silence of the Lambs. The Silence of the Lambs by Thomas Harris. The numbered edition, as I saw through this uh, Sun Top tape, just driving the struggle bus today. There we go, and inside is Old Foam. Once again, shout out to the Old Foam. I love the Old Foam. New Foam's good too, but the Old Foam. It's nice, it's a little spongy. So, this is Silence of the Lambs Numbered Edition, which has all sorts of goodies. Uh, this is a very late to the party unboxing, which inside here, we have the Hagen Reniker uh, porcelain... Come on. Porcelain little lamb. It's a very light box. This is the lightest unboxing. That's also the smallest unboxing you're ever going to see. But look at this foam. Look at that. That's incredible. It's a double-decker box for a book and a porcelain figurine. So, uh, you've probably seen some ways to the party. You've probably seen unboxings um, on Facebook, through the fans of Suntup group, uh, Brooklyn Ann, for example, unboxed this, and it did not end well for her figurine, but they did send her another figurine. Uh, Jeff Terry, aka Jeffing Off, aka the Jeff Word, unboxed it over on his channel. Be sure to check it out. Uh, he's trying to go for subscribers right now, and once he reaches 666 of them, he's going to do a giveaway for Westlake Soul which is a phenomenal book from what I've heard from SST, which is a phenomenal press from what I've seen. But anyways, on with the unboxing. You've probably seen these already. This is the small little Hagen Reniker figurine. It is a tiny little lamb and the tiniest unboxing that I'm going to ever do on this channel, probably. Probably. I mean, you never know, but I'm thinking this little guy is it. This is peak unboxing material. Nice little Sun Tup sticker right on it. I'm going to be very gentle. <laughs> uh, okay. Inside. Oh, we have our little, our little card. Here we have Hagen Reniker. Made in San Dimas. San Dimas? San Dimas, California. HagenReniker.com to remove soak in water. So, uh, you can't really see it. On the camera. Oh, you kind of can. You kind of can. You kind of can. The little Sun Tup impression there. The little logo. Very special indeed. And now to very, very softly unpackage our lamb. I thought it was in there for a second. I'm like, there's nothing in there. Wow. This is fragile. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. I've never felt like I'm going to break something more on video. Then right now, there is our tiny little lamb. Um, yeah, just beautiful, beautiful porcelain. Very, very fragile. I'm going to take this away from me right now. And I'm going to go put this over here behind me. I'm going to set it right up there. Wow, okay. Um, I think, now, now I'm drawing a blank on it. I think it's the same lamb figurine across all the editions, but now I'm not 100%. Uh, I know, for example, with Jaws, Peter Benchley's Jaws, uh, the numbered editions shark, you get, you get a little shark for that one. The numbered edition shark is different than the Roman numeral edition shark and the lettered edition shark. I should say, I think the lettered edition shark is the same as the Roman numeral shark. Um... I think, honestly, I think the Roman numeral guy should get both sharks, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, but, yeah, so, but I think the lambs are all the same. Anyways, I have seen this as well. I did not know we were getting this. A little die-cut moth. Look at that. So small, so simple, so sleek. I love it. And our bookmark, of course, as well. Uh... I don't know what I'm going to... I, I, it's like I don't want to... I want to kind of frame this. I want to find like a small little frame. Kind of like what people would use for actual like uh, 
bug collecting. I, what do you what do you call it when people have like the scrapbooks of like actual bug carcasses? You know, corpse collecting. Let's call it corpse collecting. But anyways, I want a little frame for that in here very delicately. Not quite as delicate as the ceramic lamb, but delicate enough that I'm not going to throw it around like a frisbee. We have the goods. We have the book itself in its cloth slipcase that very nicely matches the red dragon slipcase. The binding all around. Real, oh, wow, that's soft. I know that the cloth, the, the cloth, I cannot speak English. The cloth on the slipcase, this is not Japanese cloth, but wow, it is soft. Just fondling my slipcase here on camera. Excuse me. Um, wow. That, that is nice. Like, I don't remember the Red Dragon one being this soft. The Red Dragon one's nice, but I don't think it's, I don't think it's that soft. I said soft like eight times in one minute. Within there is the book itself. Look at the shine. Look at the sheen. This is Japanese cloth. It's very nice as well. You got the blind stamping on the front. A little moth there. Wait a second. Oh, it's not going to match. It's too big. I was going to say, like, what if it's like a like, national treasure thing? You know, it fits perfectly. I unlocked the secret of the book. I don't know. That's nice. Going on Nicolas Cage on this. Uh, my hands are clean, but I still feel dirty touching this. I want to wear gloves. Uh, look at the stamping on the spine. It does match a red dragon spine. Just beautiful all around. There are illustrated, illustrated end pages by Tom Bagshaw. Tom Bagshaw did the artwork. And whoa, 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 whoa. It's in the front? Whoa. There's my 127, Thomas Harris. His beautiful signature as always. Tom Bagshaw's signature as always. Very nice. Very, very nice. And the signature's in the front. Was it in the front for Red Dragon? Once upon a time... Uh, I thought, I remember reading once upon a time that Paul said for living authors, he liked putting it in the front, and for deceased authors, he put it in the back. I don't have the numbered misery, but I seem to recall Horns had it in the front, but uh, Haunting of Hill House had it in the back. But it's just been in the back for so many titles, I just kind of expected that tradition to carry on. Um, yeah. I, uh, Yeah. And if you're thinking, like, Sean, haven't you watched the other unboxing videos? Didn't you know it was in the front? To be brutally honest, I haven't. I, uh, I'm very late to the party with this unboxing, but I tried not to watch Jeff's videos or Brooklyn Ann's videos uh, too much. I get, like, just a peek, just a taste. But I wanted to get, like, the full experience here in person for you. Um, yeah, no, I'm so used to the signature being in the back. I just don't know what to do right now. I'll show you that instead. And there's uh, Thomas Harris. Just, wow, okay. Um, so anyways, art by Tom Bagshaw throughout. Um, I I like Tom Bagshaw's art. He, he uh, He's very well known for his uh, drawings of women. So, like, these ones don't necessarily match his normal style. But uh, I checked out his art back when I did the artist edition, and there were a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of drawings of women, kind of very, uh, some people don't like it because they, they feel like the characters are too young, like Clarice Starling, uh, looks a little too childish for some, but I think it looks all right. I think it wor works decently for what it is. Um, like I said, I, I, I like... I like that, you know, it's different artists, but I also don't like that it's different artists. Uh, part of me thinks it would have been cool to carry the same artist, which would be uh, Jason Maury, I suppose, all the way through. But I understand that these are kind of different publications. It's like, it's not a set like the Wells titles were. The Wells, the first three Wells titles are very much a set from Suntup, and Bo from Suntup Editions. Uh, whereas this one, it was a year after Red Dragon had been announced, so it's not really a set. It continues the same aesthetics, but obviously, you know, 
not going to have the same artist throughout. But anyways, that is just incredible. Another beautiful addition. I can't see any sort of defects with it at all, which is awesome. I mean, they've been really good, but I know some people I saw in the Facebook group, some people were like, hey, I got a little ding up here. Or the cloth didn't quite feel right, but it looks great to me. Is this right? This is how it came, but I feel like it's upside down. I feel like more of them are facing that way. I'm going to put it the way it was. Even though it feels like it's upside down. I don't know. What do you think? Is this upside down? Or is this right side up? Or am I just crazy? It does not matter. Anyways, going on 11 minutes, so I rambled. But what a beautiful addition. Let's bust our little... Oh my god! told you it's gonna happen on camera it's fine it's fine bust out the little lamb on camera one last time to say thank you paul thank you uh becca everyone over the sun tough offices and thank you the viewer for watching we will see you next time